So you were born and raised in Oakland, man. You know what I'm saying? Frisco, San Francisco. San Francisco, my Bo- bad. Yeah, born out there. I did. I, I was raised. I was raised in both. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In, in but you were back and, and forth to Houston. Yeah, Houston and San Francisco. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What uh, what triggered the move to Houston? Like the permanent move to Houston? Uh, like as a, well, I mean, once so I graduated, you, been, you still been back and forth to uh San Fran. Yeah, this is probably the longest that I've gone without being back home since since I came out here as a, a as a quote unquote adult. You feel me? Like after eighteen, once I graduated high school and came out here, I probably went back home like two three times. You know what I'm saying? I had my first daughter. Had to, of course, take her back home, see her family and stuff like that. You feel me? But I, I probably ain't been home like about four years. That's the longest that I've ever been my whole life without being back home. So going back and forth to to San Fran and Houston, yeah. How that took a toll on you growing up as a kid? Um, yeah, I don't think it took a negative toll. I think it uh, I think it just put like a confidence in me. You know what I'm saying? And uh. uh I was just able to realize that, you know, I was just, like I said, I was just able to, to have some confidence instilled in myself, you know what I'm saying, where I didn't necessarily need a group of people. You know, you got some people that need a group of people to support what they think, to support what they're about to do in order for them to either think it or do it or feel comfortable with that thought or that action, you feel me? So yeah. I, I, I'm not really one of them people. I think that's I think that's the positive that came from it. I, don't, I personally don't see nothing, uh, nothing negative. Wait, was you with your siblings or y'all was all separated going on the back and forth? Nah, like I said, my, my little sisters, they... uh. They we got different mothers, you know what I'm saying? So pops back home. Pops ain't never moved. You feel me? Yeah. So of course they stay back home. You know, they never been to Houston. You know what I'm saying? So um whenever I obviously whenever I would go home, you know what I'm saying, they'd be out there, you know what I'm saying? And then once I moved, once I moved out there, you know, we was we got a lot closer, you know what I'm saying? But they never been to Houston, you feel me? So what what man, that's crazy. So where were you where were you actually say you from? Like if somebody was if somebody was like, Man, where you from? Yeah. What, what what would be your you from all over. I mean, yeah, it, it really depends on where I'm at because yeah, I, I yeah. understand why people ask me. You know what I'm saying? If somebody asks me that, it's because they, they peep something different. So, obviously, if I'm back home, I let them, like, they they know that I'm from back home, but they know I did a lot of back and forth. You feel me? Yeah. So, where, and then it's so polar opposite. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about Louisiana and Texas. We're talking about San, San Francisco and we're talking about Houston. You know what I'm saying? So, out here, I get a whole bunch of, I, I, I sound like I'm, you feel me? I sound like I might be from somewhere else. I, they say I speak fast. You feel me? And then, um, my music too. My music yeah. be a big thing too. You feel me? But then when I go back, when I go back home, it's little stuff. You know what I'm saying? Little little ways I pronounce certain words that they that they might know. You feel me? That I'm not. I wasn't just in the bay my whole life. You feel me? Yeah. So you have you? I mean, have you adapted to Houston? Adapted to it? Like, I mean, yeah. I feel like as much as I. I mean, I don't. Because this is interesting though. People gotta understand. Like, you really don't really claim you're not really from Houston. All right. But you from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause you back and forth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how was it when you first your first trip coming to Houston? I don't remember. I was sixteen. I was sixteen months. That's how that started. Moms, moms had moved. When you, you when you was when you was physically in your state of mind where you remember to coming to Houston. Okay. What was that experience like? Uh did you could could you like I can't stand this whole ass city. Take me back home or how how was it? Nah, that? it really never really, like I said, it really wasn't never like that because my only thing, really the only difference to me. When I was younger, the only difference was that my pops weren't here and my, my, my daddy's side of the family wasn't out here. You know what I'm saying? So you closer to your dad's side? Um, yeah, I'm a lot closer to them. Yeah, you feel me? Because we mo- it's more um they Hawaiian and Filipino. So you know it's a whole different type of culture and it's a whole it's a different type of togetherness and oneness that they got, you feel me? Then uh my mother's side. My mother's side, it's still love on my mother's side, you feel me? But like I say, um, you know, the, some of the ones that's from Texas, they they from Texas, so they might be from Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of oh. like it's, it's yeah it's it's a, it's a little different you know what I'm saying. So wait a minute, let me ask you this. I didn't even know you just dropped something on me. So your 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 dad is Filipino and Hawaiian. Yeah, he and he Hawaiian. more so Hawaiian. Yeah, he more so Hawaiian. And your mom is my mom is just straight. You feel me? Straight. American. So how did they meet? It was some army military going on. Uh, they met they met in the mosque. So let me okay. So that's interesting because a lot of people, a lot of part of the the world. Or Muslims, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So they was he was pra- they was practicing Islam in the Philippines or whatever. Nah, you know? nah, nah, nah. Uh, you know how he got into it or whatever. From what I hear, so my pops, like I say, pops from the Bay, but he was back and forth from LA to the Bay a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So from what I and you know, like that was one of those cities that uh that the nation of Islam was real real heavy in. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, the influence yeah. was real heavy in LA. You know what I'm saying? In the Bay. So um. Chicago type, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Pops was like, um, 
from what I hear, Pops came in, he had like them uh Minister Society braids. This is a story I get from everybody that's a little older than me, brothers back home. You know what I'm saying? And they say Pops just came in there, he just stumbled in there one day, you know what I'm saying? Twisting his head, kind of just like amazed at what he how, how he seen the brothers conducting themselves, how it was separation of the brothers over here, sisters over here, sisters covered up, you feel me? So from what I hear, that's how Pops came into it. I don't really know what drove him to the mosque, but from what I hear, that's what Pops uh that's 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 what uh, that's what that's that's how we came into it. You feel me? And then, like yeah. I say, they they met in the mosque. You feel me? So, um, like I say, the, pops pops is born and raised in the Vado. You know what I'm saying? He not he Hawaiian because my grandmama, his mama, is literally, but that's the one that's born in Hawaii. All her family and all of them. You know what I'm saying? They Philippines. You feel me? But the black come in with my granddaddy, with my pops, pops. You feel me? Yeah. So my pops got more Hawaiian than me than than I do. You feel me? So.